Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android Studio tutorial. And today in this video, I will show you that how to create a listy view in the Android Studio. So this is going to be the first tutorial after the release of the stable version of Android Studio 3.0. So anyway, let's go to the Android Studio. And as we can see, we have a really, really nice and updated interface of this Android Studio. And I'm really excited about to see that. So even though the the all these features are available in the canary and many other beta versions i don't like to use the those kind of uh, beta version instead of this table version because i want to actually experience the android studio in its pure form and that's why i didn't actually install any kind of uh, version of the any kind of beta version of this android studio and uh, i was actually waiting for the latest update and uh, as i have said in the previous video so anyway in this video i will show you that how to create a list view inside your android application using the android studio so i just want to say that even though we have the kotlin support inside the android studio i'm just going to use everything using the java itself because java cannot be actually replaced by the kotlin because I love Java and uh, yeah, without being said, let's go and have a look at how we can able to use the list view inside our Android app. So first off, to begin with, list view is actually a widget so that we have to find it inside here. So simply, if you want, you can also search for that. So list view and here it is. Just drag it into this layout and I'm actually using the relative layout as I have been using it in the previous videos. So now let's go and as you can see, we have to just give it a ID so android id so i found that it is much easy to just code inside the android studio after the update of android studio 3.0 and uh, yeah now let's go and give it a name or the id i want to give a id name as my list view now let's go to main activity so actually i just want to tell you that the uh, list view is not a thing that we can able to discuss in just a single tutorial so i want to cover this in two different kind of tutorials so hope you will be cooperating with me now let's go to the main activity and let's add the reference for the list view now we have the list view and now as you might know that list view contain a lot of uh, items maybe a lot of names or something like that so there are two different kind of list view one is a list view that it has single name and the another one has a name and a description so in this tutorial we are going to use a list view that has a single uh, name itself without without having a description so to add that we have to add first off we have to just create some kind of source so that is going to be a string so actually we are going to be familiar with the string now so simply I'm just creating a string and after that I'm just going to add a square brackets and you can see now we have a square bracket and after that I want to give a name for the string that is going to be my data string okay and equal to now opening the curly braces so this is actually different from what we have done in the previous first off i have created a string then added a square bracket which is actually to denote the number of uh, or the size of the string and after that i given a variable name for the string and after that i have opened these curly braces and inside that what i'm going to do is pretty much easy and nice thing so opening the double quotes and typing whatever else I want to list in this list view. So I want to for, for this tutorial I just want to give it as Android and comma in the next quotes I want to add it as Windows. Okay so I managed to add some at least a few of items inside the string. So finally we have to just close it using this semicolon and after that we have now we now we actually have a string with the name as my data string and we have some sources like this android windows so this is actually going to be a string array which contain a more than a single item inside the string now what we have to do is that we have to bring this into this list view and we have to just convert this string into this list view item and we have to get each of these item from from the string array and after that we have to make sure that each of the item is selectable and according to that according to that selection we have to give a perfect action so that means a handling of each of the item from this string array so first off we have to bring the uh, string array into this list view and we have to show that to begin with we have to just create another 
thing called uh, a array adapter so actually we have created a string array and we created a listy view so we have to bring the sources all the sources from this string array into the list view so we have to convert the string into a list view items so all we have to do is simply type array adapter now we have to give a name for this array adapter so i want to name it as my array adapter then equal to then new array adapter again now what you have to do is actually you have to give a context than the layout so the first thing is that inside this argument we have to simply type the context that is going to be my activity in my case so next what we have to do is that we have to give the layout name so the layout name is nothing but something that gives the style for this list view so we have the stock android design for this list view so android r dot layout dot then symbol list item so let me tell you what i'm actually doing so this is the android stock android list item so what i have done right now is that i just created a array adapter with the name my array adapter and inside that i just added this context that is going to be my ac main activity dot this and after that i added the style to be shown this on this list view so this is actually going to be a simple list item so as i said before this list view is going to only show a single item in a single row and there will be no description for this so that we have to simply add it like this in case if you want to know what is this layout file is then it is actually inside the stock android which is which means that it is actually found inside the sdk so sdk contain as the sdk says that it is a standard development kit so that the kit contain all the things that we actually require to build a android app so in order to find the style of this list view you can use you can in, in if you're in the windows then you can just go to run and type for percentage then temp then percentage and click the ok and now let's go to this local which is actually a hidden file and inside that you will find this android folder open that and there will be a sdk folder and inside that there is something called yeah platforms and at this time i have this android 26 which is the latest version i'm going to open that and now just go to the data folder and there will be a folder called resources which is actually we have seen it inside the android studio now you have a lot bunch of folders and from this we have to go to this layout as we have written it as layout so now in this folder you have to simply find a activity or a xml file called symbol maybe yeah symbol list item one so open that and now you can see it is actually a text view that has to be shown as a row of the list view so this is actually a text view and you can you cannot directly edit this file but you have to just create a custom style for the list view in case if you want to just do some kind of uh, different effect for this list view now we'll be discussing that in the future but for now let's go and add the next thing the next argument for this array adapter which is going to be so actually this array adapter is going to get the data from the string array and it will be passing into this list view so that we have to give and give the name of this string array which is going to be my data string and now finally we have to close it using a semicolon now finally we have to add my list view then dot set adapter so we have to navigate the adapter for the list view so my set adapter then my array adapter oops okay okay so my array adapter and we have done with that now we have the list view that will be showing this each of this item as a list item so once again i'm repeating the steps so what we have done is actually created a string and before that we have just added a list view into our layout file and we have added the reference for the list view inside the one create method and we created a string and the string is actually a string array which contain more than one element like the android windows mac os linux and things like that 
and once that done we have to just get the string value inside the list view so that we have to create a array adapter in order to convert this string array into a list view items so we created a array adapter with the name my array adapter and now inside the argument we have added the main activity as the context and we have also given the stroke android style and finally we have added the string array which is actually this going to get the sources from the string array into this adapter and finally we have passed the data from this array adapter into this list view so now let's go and try this in a real android device okay guys so we have the android app in the android device and at the beginning itself you can see we have a list view with the items android windows mac OS, and a lot of other things and now we know how to use a string array and also we know how to use a adapter in our android application and in the next video i'm going to show you that how to add a click listener for each of the item from this list view so stay tuned and as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out